What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another book video. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Maybe you're a person who's in a book slump. Maybe you're a person who when you were younger you loved reading and then you stopped reading for a couple years but you want to get back into it. Or maybe you're a person who's never enjoyed reading. Maybe now you're kind of curious about it and you're like, you know what, I kind of want to get into reading but I've never enjoyed it in the past. Or maybe you don't know what genres you like or what authors are good and you're kind of lost. Well, if you're one of those people, then you've come to the right video. <laughs> okay, really quickly though, before we get into my little pile right here, I wanna talk about today's sponsor, which is Book of the Month. We have the absolutely iconic blue box right here. So if you don't know, Book of the Month is a super popular and fast growing book service for all readers. Their mission is to promote new and emerging authors and to help readers discover new books that they absolutely love. Their team vets hundreds of books each month and they give readers a choice from a curated selection of new and early release titles. That way you can spend more time reading and less time researching. Book of the Month is also risk-free so you can skip at any time at any month and you will not be charged plus they have the best price for new release hardcover fiction and lastly if you use the code let's go you can get your first book for only $9.99 okay so really quickly I'm gonna share with you guys the books that I got this month the first one being the Magnolia Palace by Fiona Davis then we have love and other disasters by Anita Kelly this this is my type of cover right here we have reckless girls and we also have black cake we also have Fiona and Jane and our special book which comes in the blue box right here I've heard so many good things about this book this is the maid by Nita prose once again I I want to say thank you to book of the month for sponsoring this video and let's get started with the video so when somebody asks me what book should i read what book do you recommend and i know for a fact that there's someone that maybe has never loved reading before or maybe they used to love it and now they don't enjoy it as much whatever it is i take that question very seriously when i was thinking of these books i was thinking what are books that are fast paced so that you know you're gonna go through the story quickly you're gonna understand it you're gonna connect with the characters right away i'm gonna start out with these two books right here because these two are very this one's a murder mystery. This one's like a thriller through and through. It's literally, it gave me chills. Like, I don't know how a book does that, but this did. This one's a good girl's guide to murder. As soon as you start the book, you're so intrigued and you want to know what happens, who did it, the whole thing. So easy to read. It's so easy to go along with the story. It's literally like watching a murder documentary on Netflix. You just know exactly what's happening. So basically this book is about a girl and she is a singer in high school and she has this project that she wants to do about a real murder that happened in her town, I think five years ago. So she's doing this like, high school project but she takes it to another level she literally becomes like a full-on detective the murder was of a girl in high school she was a singer in high school and she went missing and then a couple days later it was figured out or found out that she was actually murdered by her own boyfriend and what happened was that her boyfriend committed suicide so they automatically said that he was the one that killed her and then he killed himself but she has this very very strong feeling and intuition and she actually has proof that the boyfriend wasn't the one that killed her. When I was reading this book, it didn't even feel like I was reading because it just feels like you're watching a movie in your head. So yeah, I gave this book a four stars out of five. Okay, next book is one of my absolute favorite books of all time. I actually recently just recommended this book to a guy and I was like, wait, do I recommend that to a guy? And I like started thinking about it in my head and I'm like, yeah, I actually do. If you were to ask me like what book left me with my jaw on the floor, this is that book. This is this one because I still have so many questions. I don't know, I still want to sit down with Colleen Hoover and be like, what what happened like what did i just read verity is actually an author she's a girl she's an author and she basically has a really really bad accident she has a car accident that leaves her no longer in control of her body pretty much like she's alive but she's not really there and at this point she's a super famous author she has a lot of money she has a husband she has kids but she has a really successful book series and her husband knows that she would have wanted to finish that that is where the husband of verity meets lowen lowen has a very very similar writing style to verity however she's a very low-key very like unknown type of author that is why she takes the deal because she's very she needs money the big like weird part of her taking this job is that she kind of has to move into the house of verity so verity is in her big mansion it's a very like isolated mansion which already makes it so creepy in order for lowen to kind of um get the grasp of the book and see what verity was working with she goes to her house she goes through her like office through her things and that is where she finds this manuscript yeah she finds a manuscript that Verity wrote before like literally right before her accident she wrote this manuscript where she confesses a lot of secrets a lot of things that her husband has n absolutely like no idea about and if he did know about them that would change the entire story the entire relationship that they have absolutely everything would change their lives there's secrets there's betrayal there's death it's crazy it's literally so crazy this book is one of my favorites and not just because of the whole storyline of it but the feeling that this book leaves you with and like the the feeling that you have when you're reading this book i literally got chills at one point because i was like bro 
this is scary like i was reading it at night and i was like i'm i'm scared like what is this but the ending is surreal if you're trying to get into reading and you don't really know if romance is for you or if like heartbreaking romance is for you like you don't really want to read a sad book you kind of just want to read a book that you know is going to be good right here so our next book is ugly love by colleen hoover i read this i think like last march and this was the first book first book i ever read in a day because you're literally hooked to the story from the very beginning so this book is about miles and tate this is a brother's best friend book miles is actually a pilot and so is tate's brother the story starts out with tate moving in with her brother and miles is her brother's like next door neighbor pretty much he lives like across the hall from them the only thing at the beginning that miles and tate have in common is that they're both very much attracted to each other like crazy miles makes it very very clear to tate that he's not looking for a relationship he's like i don't want a relationship i don't like when people ask about my past they both get to a point where they just can't deny the attraction that they have to each other so they come up with this no strings attachment the interesting thing about the story which is why it like hooks you from the very beginning is because the chapters in this book are from past to present past to present obviously in the present you can see that miles and tate are building this like connection and they have this chemistry and whatever but miles is so detached and he's so secretive but all of the past chapters basically help you figure out why he is the way he is when you get to the moment and you figure out what actually happened to him it's like that moment where everything just sets in and you're just like what the fuck did i just read that is the moment i had with this book but this book will grab you by the throat <laughs> and it literally will not let you go until you finish the book okay next book i'm going to talk about is one of my favorite books of all time christina lauren's love in other words this story goes from childhood best friends to kind of dating to completely stop talking for a decade to lovers i feel like i've talked about this book so many times because it's literally one of my favorite books and it's that amazing but i just want to share with you guys this little part and it's at the very beginning and it just kind of shows you like what kind of book it's going to be where they actually run into each other after 11 years it's literally two minutes or like a couple minutes that they interact and they're just like oh like i haven't seen you in a long time like how are you like blah 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 whatever and their interaction is so quick and they meet again for breakfast like a couple days after and the guy tells her like oh i actually broke up with my girlfriend the night i saw you and she's like what like you broke up with your girlfriend like why would you do that let me read this to you he's like you're the love of my life i assumed i would get over you eventually but seeing you yesterday i couldn't go home to someone else and pretend to love her with everything i have if you want to have the most like unrealistic highest expectations for what love should look like read this book i have three more books two of them are colleen hoover one of them is taylor jenkins read i'm going to talk about this one taylor jenkins read really quick i you guys know i've talked about this book so many times before it's one of my favorite books of all time actually i read this book last march this was the first book i ever read that actually made me cry i was like what is happening i can't stop the tears i thought about this book days after i finished it it was that amazing she is this very very big hollywood actress and she kind of takes you through her entire life and through her life she actually had seven husbands she basically just tells her story from the very 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 beginning to her very first husband to her very last husband and throughout those seven husbands she has one true love and that's the one that nobody knows about like if you really want to get into reading and you want to like experience all the things that people say they experience with books i would start with this one okay so the last two books are these right here i do have three books that are, are like bonuses like i'm not going to go too into depth but i am going to mention them because they're also some of my favorites i'm going to start with this one this is the book i finished last night and i want to say it again i know i said it in my last video but if you don't follow my goodreads go follow me on goodreads because i finished this book last night at 2 a.m um i was also crying a little bit when i finished it because it was so it was like every emotion possible was happening but i literally ran to my laptop and wrote down my like review and my like whole situation today's tuesday i started it sunday finished it monday one of the most beautiful reading experiences i've ever had this book is i think i i feel like this book is also like such a classic however do search up trigger warnings for this this book is unlike anything i've ever read about because every other love story i read every other romance book it's kind of like you go through the love story and you go through them meeting each other and then you go through like the trials and tribulations of the relationship and then the ending is when they get married or when they're finally together and everything's happy and happily ever after the end this book however is so heartbreaking that it basically takes you through the past and the present the past being how they meet how amazing their relationship is at the beginning how so in love they are how connected they are how the chemistry is there how they realize that they're each other's soulmates that's the past and the present is them seven years later they're married to one another the love is still there the love is very strong they're literally still in love with each other 
but the trials and tribulations of marriage is what's getting in their way and i feel like this is such a good book for newlyweds because i mean for me it's like i don't even have a boyfriend but like i feel like this is something so important to read because you kind of get so caught up with like oh when they're married it's like when the you know when you finally have your 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 person your partner you know everything's fine but this book shows you that no matter how much love there is but sometimes you just can't predict what life is going to come at you with the ending is so so worth it i literally cried only at one point and it was like two tears um i think <laughs> and i'm so glad this was the first book i read in 2022 literally five stars this is a work of art okay last book i'm gonna dive into is it ends with us by colin hoover this book needs no introduction it needs no like i don't need to hype you up to read it because i feel like you probably already read it if you haven't run don't walk honestly i recommend this book as much as i recommend all the other ones i talked about i feel like each book that i talked about is special in its own way you know what i'm noticing a trend of past and present with colin hoover because you get like the past and present chapters this is also like that the past is lily as a teenager and the past are all moments in her life that she lived with atlas atlas was like her first love atlas went through a really really tough time his teenage years and um lily was there to help him and be his friend and they basically developed feelings for each other and that was basically like her first love but then you know life took them their separate ways and in the present she finds herself falling in love with the new guy which is ryle you basically get to a part of the book though where the two parts of her life intertwine because she runs into atlas again i can't find the quote now but it's the part that atlas says and he's like if you ever find yourself in the position to fall in love again fall in love with me <laughs> bro no <laughs> stop i think this is the first book video in a while that doesn't end with me in the dark okay before i finish up this video though i have three books that i really quickly want to mention of course i had to mention daisy jones and the six the writing style in this book is something that will definitely grab your attention right away this is basically like an interview style book so the whole book is people or the main characters of the book basically sharing their experience of the story and how they lived it and how they remember it you basically get everybody's point of views and that's what i think made it really interesting because you don't just get one single character and how they viewed it you get every everybody like all the characters i remember after i finished this book i was literally just in bed and i was like i cannot think of anything else but this book it like infiltrates your mind and it's all you can think of for like a couple days after literally i did not stop thinking about this book for a while um so amazing and of course it's taylor jenkins reed so you know it's good okay next book i'm talking about is one true loves by taylor jenkins reed i remember after i read this book first of all i cried so hard and after i read this book i was just like I don't know what to read. I, d I don't. I feel like I had to go and watch an episode of Friends because I was so sad. Honestly, this is a really, really beautiful book and I could not make this video without mentioning it. I'm gonna read a little quote that I highlighted because I think about this quote daily. Literally every time I glance at my like bookshelf and I see this book, I think about this quote. It says, true love doesn't always last and that doesn't mean it's not true love. I am who I am because I loved you once, he says. I am who I am because I loved you once too, I say. And then we say goodbye. <laughs> I want to cry. <laughs> okay, so to end this video on a cute and quirky, lighthearted moment, I'm ending with The Love Hypothesis. I just read this in December, actually, and I loved it. Also talked about it in my Goodreads as soon as I finished it. Um, so amazing. I literally get the hype. Absolutely 100%. I finished it, I think, in like a day or two. And it's very addicting. Like, you read it very quickly. It's very... It grabs your attention. It has... Fake dating is the number one trope. It has grumpy sunshine. It has kind of workplace, but not really. He's a professor and she's a, a grad student. The characters are so likable and they have this like cute ass connection that you're just like, wow, like it's gonna work out. And it leaves you with like such a like lighthearted, warm, fuzzy feeling. Um, but yeah, I absolutely love this book. So it also deserves a little mention. One of my New Year's resolutions is actually to read a lot more books this year even more than i read last year if that's one of your guys's resolutions too comment down below what is your number what number of books are you aiming for mine is 118 very specific but yeah 118 books that's my goal write down your goal i don't care if it's five books i don't care if it's one book i don't care if it's two and a half books comment down below what's your goal for this year and yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe i'll have my instagram down below my goodreads um the whole shebang i love you guys thank you guys so much for watching book of the month thank you once again for sponsoring this video i love you guys and i'll see you in my next video Bye.